What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams. And in today's video, we're gonna learn how to get started with WP Quiz Plugin, the Quiz Maker WordPress Plugin. So we, just like BuzzFeed Portal, for example, can have a quiz on our website. I'm gonna start with this demonstrative quiz on the plugin developer's website in the products page. So we can see how much time did we spend in a quiz and how much this can increase your bounce rate and the amount of time that users spend on your website. What can increase your page rank, of course. And it's really funny. Have a couple of questions and test your knowledge. There's a couple of questions. I will not answer every single one to be the right, just to show you how big a quiz can be. There is a timer into the top, so I have two minutes to reply to this. There is question with uh, some choices. There is question if I need to type the answer, for example, this one. I'm gonna probably not be right in this one, but no problem. It's just a test. There's questions to select from a list and see the results. The plugin is gonna take a while to display you the results, but it share your score. Hmm, really bad, but you can share it across social media as well. So it helps a lot. And if you scroll down, you can see the results, what you did made right and what you did made wrong. Now, let's review how to get this plugin into your WordPress website for free and how to start using it. First of all, go to your WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, and into the search field type quiz maker. Plugins, add new. The plugin is by quiz maker team. One advantage of this plugin that is always good to review is the fact that a plugin have a documentation, which helps you a lot in understanding and using its features. Also review on YouTube for developers video guides, for example. Here's another and another quiz example. As you can see, you can have background images, you can change this font sizes. You have a couple of customization options to make the quiz fit into your website design style. Once back into your on, on our plugins field section on WordPress, go to install and activate it. As soon as you do that, you're gonna import some simple things from the plugin. For this video, I'm gonna be just exploring the plugin pages so you can see what the plugin can do and into a feature video that you can check on our YouTube channel in some days, you can see how to use this plugin, create new questions, and apply the plugin shortcodes into pages so the website final users can reply to them and enjoy your site. First of all, we have quizzes, and quizzes need to have questions, and questions need to have right and wrong answers. So, after this, we go to categories, questions, categories, for example, language, maths, the custom fields that is only available for pro users, because there's no free lunch, of course, there's no free lunch. The orders, that is some premium part from the plugin that users can make orders. We're gonna explain it later, but once we're gonna focus on the free version, no need to worry about it yet. 
the results as soon as users generate some results reply to the quizzes on your website you can have results page with even statistics in the case that you like that if you are a nerd like just like me you would love statistics now to the most important part of the plugin the general settings the very first one is the questions the full type radio it's my favorite one but you can change in case you want there's a couple of options answer the full count we have three because it's it's okay three but you have more in the case that you want the user's ip addresses if your site is following the gdpr privacy laws i really do not recommend that you store ip addresses so i recommend that you unmark this option there is a sound for decrease wrong and right messages except uh, animation to the top uh, Erase Chris data. Who will have permission to quiz menu? This is just for pro users. So, as soon as you finish your options, click on Save Settings. Now, integrations. If you are pro, you have integrations with PayPal, Mailchimp, and other services like Slack or even Google Sheets. Every single one gonna require an an IP, IPA key or the client ID, the user. Each service is gonna need some different information. Now to the short codes, just the same thing here. But once this will not affect the final design, no need to worry. Now the message variables. Here is what we have and we can edit in the case that you want and what you can't. Now the button text, which is really important in the case that you want to translate this plugin. In translation cases, for example, the start, you're gonna change, the previous, the next and any other button. And if you look at the end, you have the developer's plugin products, some marketing and merchandising and the how to use that leads to the devs, YouTube channel, WordPress community and pro support options. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos about this plugin usage. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with full compatibility to this amazing plugin. And I see you later. All the best.